Top of the morning, everybody. Yeah, we got to talk to talk. This is James sitting out here in Vegas getting my little morning, you know, issue in in the morning, taking care of your body and your mind at the same time. I kind of wanted to express some things while I'm, I'm out here enjoying this beautiful morning out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's about 6, 630. This weekend was a big weekend for the, as far as the fight, right? Wild and Fury. Awesome fight. Some came to mind when I watched that fight, though. I think this fight was more of a spiritual fight, and it was. You can't take nothing away from Wilder. He looked good. He came in, you know, learned some things from his previous fight. You could tell a little bit more discipline, but Fury, man. I kind of already knew it was going to go like that, y'all. You know? And while I'm getting back to this, this is more of a spiritual thing. Ladies and gentlemen, now I'm not, I ain't sure what Deontay Wilder came in there with, with all that, you know, voodoo beads and stuff like that. I don't understand that, but, you know, bro, you said you were a, 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 a believer in Christ, but I'm with not, all that set aside, man, I think you came in there, I think you got a lot of heart, Wilder. The only thing that I could personally say, you know, and this out of love, bro. It just come in as a little bit more humble man as you are, you know? I know after the fight, Fury tried to shake your hand and do all type of stuff, and you dismiss that for whatever reason. That's between you and another man, but I want, to, I want you to understand something, which I'm sure you do. Every day is a fight, bro. You can't be bitter or messed up because you win or lose in fights, because every right? day is a I'm fight. out here fighting right now. I'm 46 years old. It's a spiritual fight. It ain't got nothing to do with gloves or anything else like that. It's all spiritual. Matthew 6, 33. We got to see God first. Because the fight we think we're fighting, it's not the fight that we should be fighting. Stop with all this racist stuff. And I brought this up because of, uh, you know, the fight. We had a white guy and a black guy in there fighting. And I know a lot of people looked at it that way, which you shouldn't because it was a boxing match all together. But you're going to have those that look at it in the skin thing. It has nothing to do with that. Christ is the only way. I don't care what you've been told before. I don't care what your traditions told you. Christ is the only way. He's the son of God. He is the way. Ain't no way except for him. Try it every way you want to because I'd have myself. But there is no other way. I just wanted to kind of mention on the fight because that was a beautiful fight, man. The fight was probably the best fight, if not the best fight I've ever seen in my life. Definitely a heavyweight fight. Man. The wild team, much, much props to you guys, but Fury, you are the champion. My hats goes off to, to you. I do a little boxing myself. Oh, that's why I'm out here trying to get my cardio back up. After that, I said, got to be more careful, man. I better do something myself. Y'all know what it is with me. Matthew 6, 33. This was just something little light. It, it didn't even have nothing to do with what I'm, I usually talk about. But it really do because it's all spiritual. Peace.